Let's speak to Kevin Lister from the Bad Law Project about this. He himself is a former teacher. Uh, good uh, afternoon to you, Kevin. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for us. Now, this, this uh, report, uh, this cast review, uh, was, was, I mean, massively wide-ranging, took a very large amount of time and was really a game-changer in terms of uh, exposing what was really going on, the total and utter lack of, uh, of evidence for what uh, the trans Tavistock Clinic and other trans clinics were doing, and also the lack of evidence that these puberty blockers and other drugs that children were being put on didn't have massive side effects, weren't actually, uh, you know, very damaging to children, and basically exploding an awful lot of the myths we've been told that basically, you know, if you care about kids' health, you'll definitely, you know, you'll basically go along with them thinking they're born in the wrong body and you'll put them on this road. Otherwise, as many parents were told, they might commit suicide. I mean, the horrible blackmail that was delivered. And this cast review really explodes all of that as, frankly, lies. Correct. So, as you say, the first cast review came out. That was a, a big um, step forward in, in bringing some rea um, reality to the situation. And the next review comes out, or the final review comes out on Wednesday. So obviously we don't have the review yet, but the, the bits of news that have, that, have, that have been leaked about it suggests it's really starting to move into the right uh, place now. The, the Telegraph reported, um, which I think will be the, the, the uh, important strap line for the cast review, that um, it talk, it's talking about the pipeline from the classroom yeah. to the clinic. And I think that's the really important thing so, that so we need to So basically, a kid is confused. They go to their teacher. They, they say, oh, I'm a boy, I think I'm a girl. I'm a girl, I think I'm a boy. They transition socially, so they call them by the, a different name or different gender. And, but instead of that sort of assuaging things and calming things down, the, the cast review, we think, is going to be saying that literally sets you on that railroad track directly towards puberty blockers and everything else. Exactly. And, and the problem is, 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 is it's been systemic. So that situation that you're talking about, where a teacher would normally intervene with a child, with a student of theirs, when there's an issue and say, you know, make sure you understand what you're doing and don't put yourself at harm and so forth. You know, that's normally what, what, what a teacher would do. But with the trans movement, if a teacher does that, they are automatically um, in breach of the Equalities Act, so it can be done for harassment of the, of the, of the student because the student now has got gender protected um, um, uh, uh, rights. So teachers have, have been in a difficult, well, in an impossible situation. So you've had teachers in, in an impossible situation, but also you've had teachers and schools who have been encouraging it, literally encouraging it, literally yeah. feeding uh, um, their students yeah. into this medical experiment. And it's, it is an experiment, the likes of which we have never seen ever yeah. in, in, in Western civilization. And we saw the Tavistock Clinic, and I always say, I live really near it, so I'm really aware. I know people who work there. I remember saying to me a few years ago, you need to get out of this place. You don't want this place on your CV in a few years' time. Trust me, this is all exploding. The number of people who've resigned from that clinic, uh, you know, clinical workers just saying they cannot, they cannot stand by and watch what's happening. But you're talking about confused children, often with autism, often children who've got other mental health problems, children who are suspected of being the victims of abuse, Perhaps largely, they think, particularly with the explosion of the girls, girls who, who think they may be gay, but being gay is unacceptable in their home. So, oh, well, I'll be interesting and I'll be trans. The explosion from a few hundred children a few years ago to 5,000 children now tells you there's something else going on. It's not suddenly that these kids are suddenly waking up and realising that they're trans. A, you know, there's no such thing as a trans kid, and B, to actually sort of to pander to this from children to children is deeply damaging. And, and, and of course, children don't realise that the puberty blockers and all the other things, that that basically affects their body for life. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's being presented to young people and to vulnerable young people. There's this panacea that can solve any problem that, that a young child has. You know, if you're upset, if you're anxious, if you're depressed, or whatever else, that's it, you're in the wrong body. Off you go and, and, uh, and, and get on some testosterone. And also, by the way, testosterone is incredibly easily available for not much more than the cost of a young person's pocket money that can start the, yeah. the transition at home. Yeah, it's, yeah the, the whole concept is, 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 is bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Absolutely. It's, it's incredibly worrying. Well, let's, we're going to wait and see this review, but I have to say, I still find it extraordinary that, you know, we've got a ban on the NHS carrying out, uh, giving a lot of these puberty blockers, unless it's for experimentation, well, you know, sort of under studies. Too, frankly, too big a loophole for me, but also 
parents taking their kids to private clinics, again, under this vet of blackmail, which is what is happening. Thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. I know you guys okay, have done amazing pleasure. work there. Sam Armstrong's still here. It is absolutely astonishing that, that this has happened under our watch. It's happened under Conservative Party watch, and while governments that governments have been in government, and they did so little about this. And it's not enough just to stop what's going on. It's not enough to draw a line under it either. What needs to happen now is there needs to be proper accountability, a proper investigation into how it was that an activist groups like Stonewall, like Mermaids, yep. like the rest of them, were able to co-opt the National Health Service into conducting experiments on and They are, they were experiments. ...that have shown no efficacy for improving outcomes around mental health and all the rest of it, and have left children mutilated, yeah. have left them filled with hormones with unknown consequences. Infertile and unable to ever have a proper sort of sexual relationship. And I mean, it, it's just, it is absolutely disgusting. With it. And, and the lies that were told to parents as well, it, it is just, it's got to stop. And I'm, I'm still appalled that this government has not just said, this cannot be done, this is a crime, and we will be prosecuting people to do that. And we've got, you know, we've got parents and teachers and, 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 and counsellors and stuff being told, basically, if you don't affirm then these children are going to commit suicide or you are actually effectively uh, trying to, you know, um, uh, stop them transitioning and you're a bad person, whereas actually this is just the people who care most about these children trying to save them from, you know, something they've seen on YouTube. It's, it's the most harrowing thing. I know, and I know I bang on about it, guys, but I bang on about it because it really is happening on a terrible scale.